Hi there folks. Today we're going to take a look at the Instant Pot Gem, G-E-M, multi cooker. This multi cooker is another one in our collection and um, I actually like this little guy quite a bit and I will show you the basics of how it works today and just do an overview for you. In this particular um, model uh, this one has a non-stick finish, but it is a ceramic coating, which we've actually been very pleased with. We do use the, the silicone, silicone um, type cooking implements, but this coating has been really uh, resilient. We don't have any chips or scratches on it yet, and it has the same coating on inside and out. The pot is kind of standard with today's multi-cookers in that it's the clear glass lid and they all have a vent hole. This one's kind of funny. It's on the side instead or the end instead of the sides. Um, but that actually works out really well for me because of the way our cabinets overhead are positioned. Because when these cookers are putting out steam, you really just don't want that shooting directly onto your cabinet. Uh, as for the functions of this machine... I will move the camera and we'll take a closer look at the control panel and go over the functions. Um, I do want to go ahead and point out this is another multi-cooker that is not a pressure cooker. Uh, this particular Instant Pot brand sen seems to cause a lot of confusion. People associate the Instant Pot brand with being a pressure cooker and this is not. This is a departure from the pressure cookers. Okay, I'll move the camera. Okay, so these are the buttons and functions on the control panel. The sear saute, as with most multi-cookers, this is like cooking on a stove top. So you would um, compare this to or replace your cooking on your stove in a pot or pan. This particular function, uh, one of the things I like about the instant pot multi-cookers is that you have a range to set your um, cooking from 250 to 425 degrees. You do not have to program a time on that, but you can set that uh, for up to one hour. The stew function, this is similar to, I did the other video on the Aura Pro. Uh, the stew function is going to allow you to program it from 175 to 210 degrees um, for up to four hours, but it is going to heat up for a certain amount of time at the beginning of the cooking cycle. It's somewhere around boiling for about 10 minutes. Um, it's not specified as clearly in the uh, gym manual as it is in the Aura Pro, but from what I can see, it seems similar. The uh, slow cook function on this particular unit, it's got two buttons for high and low. And I really like the slow cooking on the Instant Pot Gym and Aura Pro because they are not too hot like most of the, cook the slow cookers are today. Um, the slow cook high is programmable from to up to 10 hours. And when it's over, it will uh, go to keep warm. And the temperature range that they say that it cooks at is around 200 to 210. It's hard to say for sure if that's accurate, but that's what the book says. The slow cook low, um, its temperature range is 190 to 200, and it is programmable also for up to 10 hours. And I have to say that's probably the thing that I like least about this cooker is that the 10 hours is the maximum and when you're slow cooking low on this it's at a really low temperature and sometimes I think that there are dishes where 12 or 14 hours um, could really be helpful so I do wish this cooked longer it will however go to keep warm when it's done cooking so that's great um, bake is programmable from 250 up to 425 and it is 
it will allow up to four hours of programming. And when this bake function is over, unfortunately, this does not go to keep warm. This is one of the functions where I wish that it did go to keep warm, but it does not. And I want to point this out about the bake. Even though you turn it on and choose your temperature and time, it takes about 10 or 15 minutes before that timer um, starts counting down. So a lot of the things that I cook on bake, they are done before that timer has even started counting down. And I think that is really confusing for a lot of people, especially when they're new. They put something in, they program it for 15 minutes and they wander off and they come back and the timer hasn't started yet and the food is eat, burnt or nearly done. So there's something to really be aware of is that when you start that bake function, it starts cooking right away while it's heating up the pot. So if you don't put anything in the pot while it's heating up, you'd probably be okay. But if your food's in there ready to go and then you hit bake, it's, it's gonna start cooking fast. Uh, steam. Steam is one of the functions where it will go to keep warm when it's done and you can program it for up to two hours and it's basically just at a boiling temperature. Uh, the book says 212 degrees. Um, it does take about 10 minutes before the countdown will start for your steaming and um, it does beep when it's ready for you to put the food in. But if you put, again, if you put your food in now before the countdown timer has started, it's going to start boiling your food and that will go to keep warm when it's done. Roast. Um, again with roast, similar to the Aura Pro, it does heat up initially before the program that you set. So when you want to set your program for roast, you can choose your temperature anywhere from 250 to 425. If you hold that down, it will stop beeping at you the whole time. So you, anyway, you pick your, your temperature and you can program this for up to four hours. When the roast cycle is uh, finished cooking, it will not go to keep warm. So like the stovetop, the bake, and the roast, it will not go to keep warm when the cooking is over. I do wish that the uh, bake and the roast would, would go to, to uh, keep warm when they're done. I don't understand why some of the cycles will and some of them won't. Rice. This is one of my favorite buttons on this unit. Um, as I said in my other video, I love to use the rice function, not just for cooking rice, but for making casseroles where the rice is baked in. So I can cook the meat and the veggies, saute them to, to whatever consistency um, that I'm ready to add the rice and the liquid. And then I just hit the rice button and let it finish cooking through. And when it's done, it will also default to keep warm. And on the rice, it is, um, there's nothing to program there. And I think it usually takes about 35, 40 minutes. I haven't timed it precisely, but I've noticed that that's about how long it takes once you start this function. One of the other great functions that is unique to um, the Instant Pot multi-cookers is they do offer the delay start. So if you want to use delay start, you would first start with the function. So let's say that you want to do a slow cook high. Let's say you want to set it for three hours of slow cooking, but you don't want it to start for a few more hours. So let's say in three hours. So the way it is set now, in three hours, it will start slow cook high, and then it will cook for the three hours that we programmed it for, and then it will default to keep warm. A few more notes on this cooker. Uh, this is a six quart pot. Uh, they recommend the three quarters full, which effectively is four and a half quarts. Mm -hmm. uh, it does come with a rack. It is the stainless steel rack. 
and it sits in the bottom of the pot. It's a rectangular shape like the pot. It has the shorter legs and the taller legs on either side, so it is reversible, so you can flip it over. And if you put the shorter legs down in the bottom of the pot, you're closer to the cooking service, so it's faster cooking than the other way. This particular model of the Instant Pot Gym uh, is only available through Walmart. It is, uh, I've seen it online and in the stores. In general, uh, this we are very pleased with this cooker. The functions that it offers we use on a regular basis. Some of the other ones have functions we just don't use that much. So we actually use this pot quite a bit. Uh, we've been very pleased with the finish that I mentioned earlier, that ceramic. Uh, it's, it's more durable than some of the other non-sticks that tend to flake or scratch easily. And the few functions on here that we use the most we really like. I love the slower, uh, the lower temperature on the slow cooking. Love the rice function and the stovetop works great as well. Hope you have enjoyed this and this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.